after a year and a half of almost continuous use, my UV10 bowl has almost worn through it. I can almost push my finger through it. So I ordered a new one online, and including delivery, it was almost $140 Australian. Seems a bit much for a bit of plastic, plastic bowl. Um, so anyway, I ordered it. But in the meantime, I thought, hey, maybe I could print one on my 3D printer. And that's what this video is about. So this is what the bottom of the bowl, the inside of the bowl looks like. You can see I could almost push my fingers through there. Uh, and I know that one day I'm going to come out and there will just be a mess of rocks scattered around on the garage floor. So that's why we're doing another one. This is the design in FreeCAD. And this is it in repeater host, sliced and ready to send to the 3D printer and this is it printing. So this was my first attempt. Um, it's not bad, not quite the capacity. But I haven't actually tried it yet but I just thought I want to change a few things about it, mainly the size, because I checked and I could go a little bit bigger, which is what this one is. My second attempt. And this is what we're going to be trying in a few minutes. Ooh, excitement! So I. So this is 3D printed uh, material called PLA. Uh, it feels really solid, son. So this is the bowl I printed, it's printed in PLA. It's very solid material, so I'm hoping it'll, I'm hoping it'll hold out to the rigors of, oh, come on. I'm hoping this bowl will hold out to the rigors of tumbling rocks. Because, because once, oh you shit me. Come on. The, Oh my god, come on! This is the bowl we're going to be printing with. I printed it today. It didn't take long. Okay, let's try it. Alrighty. We'll pick out. Now because that is... What have we got? Two six pound barrels and four three pound barrels there's no way even that one will take it the ten pound barrel so we'll see if we can fit into here probably about, I reckon half of this will go in we'll give it a go see what happens chuck a few big woundies in as well I like these ones Appreciated stuff that should come up good as long as there's no grit gets stuck in between the, the cracks there. And this stuff's nice, different colours, different bands. Grab some of them. I like these ones. aren't Mukai, these are, I don't know how they got in there, There's something else, we'll chuck them in for you, a bit more, I like that one, this is nice too, a few more, so we've got over half I reckon, over half of what we had, it's pretty good going. A little more ring ins. A bit of opalite. It can go in too. Right, I'm fairly happy. Maybe chuck a few more in. What have we got? He's nice. 
That's nice. Tuck all those in. And then, we need some filler. So this has come over from the original tumble. The small pieces of bits and pieces. Just to get in and get in between all the big rocks and smooth them off. I reckon that's pretty good. I won't show adding grit and everything because it's the same as I've covered in other videos. So yeah, look at them if you want to see anything on how much grit to use. Okay, let's see what happens. The rocks have been tumbling in the 3D printed bowl now for two days, a little over two days. And so far it's all going to plan. to start stage three in the printed vibe bowl. The rocks have been rinsed. Uh, about to start up the vibe, it's going to get noisy and it'll add some grit and from there we'll come back in a couple of days and see what we've got going. So where's the stretchy stand over there in here somewhere? There it is. Another two days gone and just about to clean up after stage three and so far still looking good. Stage three, just about to begin. Lock your ears. any of the volume uh, through a week of tumbling. Um, it just seems as thick and as strong as the original that came with the machine. I'm very really happy about that. Um, $20 worth of plastic to print it as opposed to nearly $140 to buy one online.
And so how did the rocks turn out? Pretty good. Very good actually. Uh, moon kite's a little bit tricky. Sometimes some of the paler colours don't always gloss very well. They don't colour do it unless we're polished. But the darker colours, like that, and like that, come up very well. Um, there's lots of really nice gloss on all these rocks uh, from my homemade bowl. Some of the lighter colours in Mukai don't gloss very well. Sort of a, a matte, semi-gloss finish. But hey, I think that looks good too. Uh, some of them, I don't know if I can find any, some of them have a combination of both. So the matte and the gloss. And to me, I think that looks kind of good. There's some great colours and patterns in here. I'm very happy with that. Uh, even this breast shattered stuff, heavily breast shattered, is really chunky. Uh, it came up okay. The, the white bits are nice and glossy. The black bits were never going to achieve any kind of gloss, but hey, that's what it is. So yeah, I consider my homemade bowl a complete. My homemade bowl a complete success. After a year and a half of pretty much continuous use, my UV10 bowl has worn through, almost worn through. After after one and a half years, <laughs> you're an idiot. Some of the paler colours, like that, they don't always gloss, they sort of come out of semi-gloss. But I think that looks nice.